All right, welcome back. Let's talk about Lil Duvall. It's a, it's a comedian. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a clown. <laughs> Lil Duvall is a comedian. Um, the guy is like, like the height of this thing right here. Can you see? Yeah. I'm just kidding. No, no short people shame me. No, especially short men. We're not gonna shame short, short men on this show, okay? Um, but it's, it's very popular, you know. Uh, here in America, at least. Um. Is uh, he's a comedian, stand up comedian. He's also a musician. Remember the song? Uh, what's that song that he did? Uh, I forgot. He did one song like that one time. Now they're calling him a musician. He's an actor, he probably featured in Ice Cube's movies, but anyway, I don't know. Um, he's a comedian, he's 46 years old, but uh, he had uh, this statement to make here. Um, looking at it from the Jasmine brand, uh, Instagram pages, Ludovic says. Women these days are dating for financial assistance. Okay, so this message is going to be very, very short. I just wanted to drop this out there for my brothers. Okay, these are the kind of I'm living my best life. Thank you, Natu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know how to sing it right now, but I know it's coming in my head. So if I remember, I'll still sing it. Yeah, yeah. anyway. Um, he said, a little divorce says, women these days are dating for financial assistance. These are some of those subtle, subtle poisons that you need to be aware of. Are there women dating for financial assistance? Yes. Are there majority of women? No. Are there majority of Instagram slay mamas? Maybe. <laughs> okay. Are there majority of women in your circle? I don't know. Because I don't know what's in your circle. I think majority of women, no, it is not. If that was the case, we will be in a war zone. Okay? If you even the gender warriors, the war zone is usually like some kind of isolated place on some channel somewhere. They usually gather themselves somewhere where they are talking. Okay? So, but that's why this is very poisonous because um it's going it might align with remember I said are all the women in your in your circle are they looking for financial assistance i said maybe i don't know if that's the case you will relate with this message right and you will actually literally expand that that pool because you'll be looking for them everywhere you ask every time you find it confirmation bias right and there's more than enough of them for you to confirm it uh, you usually tend to hang out where they are remember they're in your circle or they are in your algorithm <laughs> right and you will tend to see them and you tend to see 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 i said it they're all looking for financial assistance okay that's the poison okay that's the poison it's like truth but a little bit of poison right aligns confirmation bias aligns with how you feel because your circle happens to be the truth of what he's saying right so he might even say hey i'm just telling the truth right uh -huh. so he's a truth teller right so but let me go into some of these comments <laughs> no no this is the actual statement he said y'all be dating for help not love okay that's the actual statement he made so i see somebody said men are dating for help too <laughs> right if i said the woman he knows most women are making more than the man so there you go so of course this is going to trigger a lot of women um all right and then he leaves a comment i choose violence so it's not that deep but there's poison in it nonetheless right and then claudia jordan who is a celebrity as well says just women because the way these men want to be bad bitches, ah, that is shaming language. That is the sign language, shaming insult, guilt, and need to be right. <laughs> anyway, um, well, if we have more than enough men keep talking about 50-50, you attract what you attract. Uh, you're going to attract what you attract. It is what it is. Quick, quick, Now beat that, bitch ass nigga. Pay for this shit, hurry Yo. up. No. Pay for that shit and hurry up, bro. Drop Yo. your ass again. Touch me, then I'm gonna drop Stop video for they you help me. me. You got my keys. Quick, somebody help you. Somebody help you. Alright, somebody help you. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Listen, uh, if you repeat 50-50 a couple more times, um, you attract the sign language, you know. 
It might attract the sign language. Let me see. This person says, uh, I never see these dudes speaking positively about women. <laughs> Wahala. Uh, somebody said, um, and men are dating to F. Have P available for a place to stay, for your energy, for status, for ownership, for kids to have a good single mom. Jesus. Ouch. For resources, to have made a home, to make you feel younger, to have someone go 50-50 with you on these bills. I think <laughs> Aren't we all using each other somehow? It's a question. Mm. It's very true, though. A, a woman, there's always a woman that will say, it's very true, though. But let's not act like men don't do the same. Men don't do the same. This Everything I said earlier applies to men. If you feel like men are doing the same, check your circle. Check your algorithms. Okay? Start another account. Just make sure you come back to Men of Prestige after you start the account. You've been listening to the wrong thing. You've been hanging around the wrong people. Okay? So I can't speak for your circle, but you can't claim that you have all 8 billion people in your circle. Not even all 20 million people in New York City are in your circle. Right? So the scap at the end of the day so the same thing goes for the men it's not everyone that's dating because they want something from you sometimes they just like you they just like your energy but this person did say energy right <laughs> let me come to the chat real quickly mm. yeah uh few guys say newsflash women from all tribes of the world have been dating for financial assistance for thousands of years young women were married off by their families to men of means hypogamy is old school wait hypogamy is still real on the men's side i, I thought right oh so it's old school so men are marrying up too <sighs> that's another angle another angle yes 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 so it's context context is involved in this right but let me do this let me do this uh the lesson i really want to pull out of this is this just a reminder okay just a reminder somebody says self-accountability wow this is deep and they're supposed to be on this live show come into the live room come into the live room okay let me see self-accountability is deep for some people they've never heard it before never assume that people know what you know share the live stream with other people people are struggling out there but anyway let's uh let me tell you what people need okay all right at the end of the day this is just off of this one theory but all of the other theories align with this in one shape form or the other okay people date for certainty okay there's they date for variety okay they date for significance okay it's a moving target by the way they date for connection, right? Yeah, there are some people that just connected with you, with your energy. They don't really want anything from you. And honestly, in the beginning, that's really all you should focus on, right? Make sure there's a connection first, okay? Sometimes that looks like friendship because every relationship will get tested anyway. And one of the first things that people point fingers at when those relationships get tested is finances. You only wanted me for my money. You only wanted me for my money. Now, after you have the money, you're satisfied. You want to dump me. Baba. No, you need to trace that money back to number one. Certainty, security. Financial security is not the same thing as money. It's not the same thing. There are people that don't have money. They feel financially secured. Pay attention. Please. Pay attention. If you're very rich and you bought a Range Rover, listen to me, gentlemen, especially you. You bought a Range Rover last year, okay? She's still riding the Range Rover, but in the last three months, Otiha, we're not sure where money is going to come from. Worse, you are not sure where money is going to come from. And you're pouring all of this uncertainty on her. And you're like, she should understand, Baba. Baba, she's still riding Range Rover. You're right. You gave her your last card last month. It's still possible that she doesn't feel financially secure though. Don't call me and be telling me it shouldn't be. Baba, it is exactly what it is. 
You need to pay attention to that. And it's not that you must fill that gap right now from a physical or financial standpoint. Is you need to have emotional intelligence around that. Because you just need to feel safe. That's all. But your mouth is probably doing, doing you a solid. Like making it worse for you. Probably like, you should understand. I should understand. Kilo mean. Well, why are you being disrespectful? Well, I didn't mean to be disrespectful. It won't occur. And, and it becomes an argument and you uh, you now go back to, oh, it's because you went broke. No, 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 no. You already went broke. Okay? But your mouth is not helping issues. You already lost your school. But your mouth is not helping the issues. Okay? Your pride, your ego is not helping matters. Your expectations of human beings. Just because you have money and they're living in a large house, they should feel secure. Your expectations are off. Okay, that Range Rover, the reality is that C finish don't enter. That was last year you bought that. Uh, she should still appreciate you're right, but she should is fantasy. The reality is that the frame of reference is discombobulated. It's like, you know what I mean? And all you need to do is understand that so you can soothe whatever that pain is and say, hey, babe, reassure them reassurance is all it takes sometimes and when you are busy and you're working and you say baby i got us that's all it takes sometimes to leave another day so that you can have the peace of mind you require and you deserve not deserve require okay more like because again if you say that you know how to you don't know how to if you don't know how to i can't call you you deserve you don't have the skills but that you require the peace of mind you require is a function of how you move it's a function of the level of peace of mind you bring to the table. What does she bring to the table? Literally everything you bring to the table plus more. But you have to bring something first. That's the reality of our social construct. Okay? So when we're busy counting it in dollars, in one one dollar in the bank account, that's where we miss it. But if you count it mentally, emotional, from an emotionally, emotional, intelligent place, it will make better sense to you why people will have it all seemingly to you, but they're complaining. Right? Should they do that? If you think they shouldn't do it, you are right. Oh, I, 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 you're right. If you think it is what it is, even better. You're right. Oh, I, 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 you're right. Some people want you because you look like growth to them. You look like if they come around you, their life will be better. Hmm. He's an actor. He can mentor me. I want to be around him. Oh, it's not bad. It's not a bad looking guy. Somebody say, oh, he should, she only got with him because of money. No, that's lame. That's a lame angle to look at it from. Lame as in lack of game. Okay. That's such a long time ago, four kids later, you cannot reference that. That's just, that's stupid, okay? Such a long time ago. There's a lot that has happened. Many people will go through half of that. They will go through half of what, half of that time, double the trauma they went through, figure things out, and they're living happily ever after, and you will never find out. But of course, you have to find out because of him, okay? Contribution, some people want you because you're a project. You look like somebody they can add value to. There's a level this gets to that becomes toxic. It's not a good idea. It's a bad idea. And it's a level, at some level for all of us, it's a good thing. You know? Yeah, thank you so much for the $5. Uh, Liz, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I feel like I just got rich. Jesus Christ, you people. Oh, oh, what? I'm in my ah! All right. So let's get into, since this is kind of connecting with the story, Let's go into the reaction of the day with the MKE case wife and stuff. Let's get into that. I'll be right back.